dears, how are you? I'm very fine. You too? I'm called as like a know from Ethiopia. I'm doing my job here in our university as physics lecturer. Now I'm requested to do to solve these kinematics by problem. Good. Can we do together, please? Go ahead. Please come in. Don't you say this? A ball is wrong, but to the layup one. To return to the starting point after 10 seconds. So we requested to find the maximum head of the ball can reach is okay. Look, my dear, the solution. But my dear Paris, we have to know the meaning of a free ball. So the free ball is given for such a motion is because of the only force which acting upon the object while it takes upward, either upward or downward motion. The only force which acting upon the object is gravitational force. No other resistance, no dissipative forces, no frictional forces which acting upon the object except gravitational force. That's why free fall is given to such a problem. Good. Look, the total time is given. That is a second. But in sense, there is no dissipative force. The time required to up as well as to downward is equal. That's why. Just consider the downward motion after the object arrives the maximum end. That is 10 seconds. I mean 5 seconds. T, H to be T is equal to 5 seconds. And then uh, H maximum, the V final for the upward motion, and then the V initial for the downward motion, which is 0 meter per second. And then we have acceleration due to gravity that is 10 meter per second, a uh, scale of second, I mean meter per uh, scale of second. Yes, we requested to find the maximum habits, correct? To do this problem, we have to use the, 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 the formula, what we had learned in our previous lesson. We know that scale of B final is equal to scale of B initial, and then plus twice of g h mass we have v final i mean we don't have uh, what of course we don't have the v final and hence we have to use another formula what's that rather than this we have to use what you call it h is equal to v dot times time the note of y times time plus half of uh -huh, g t squared we have the initial we have G acceleration to gravity and we have time, so we will find the maximum head without any doubt. Now H becomes, or H maximum becomes, this is zero, simply one over two G, square of this, H max, H max becomes by two, one by two, five, or simply one over two times 10 meter per square of second. And then G is 5, just to scale it to 25, scale of second. And then scale of second by scale of second. And then by 2, 1 by 2, 5. 5 times 25. Now H max becomes 125 meter. Right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like it and then to subscribe and then put your comment up on the box. Thank you.